If you have been thinking of getting a solar power plant installed on your rooftop, this thought must have crossed your mind more than once. Will the solar plant be able to withstand the strong winds during storm? God forbid, if this were to happen, it would lead to not only financial losses but also loss of lives and property in the neighborhood where these pieces would fly off to. There have been many such incidences where the solar panels have been blown away in storm which has caused massive destruction in the neighborhood. Upon investigation, it comes out that root cause in almost all these incidences are those untrained integrators who have no knowledge of the engineering techniques used. In solar plants, they do not know what the expected wind speed at the site will be how much upward lift the system will generate and how the foundation needs to be designed that will handle this upward lift. In this video series, we will learn about these engineering techniques used in rooftop solar plants. And in this video, we will especially focus on the foundation of the solar plant. Our team was assigned a responsibility to design solar plant for one such site a year back. This site had a lot of complications. The foundation was very important for the stability of the plant. The site was a well-known hospital located in Bhagalpur district of Bihar. A 10 kilowatt solar plant was to be installed on its roof. As you can see, it is a very tall building and there are no obstructions like tall buildings or tall trees in the proximity to block strong wind. Due to limited space, the panels had to be stacked one over the other in multiple tiers which increased the overall height of the solar panel bed. For all these reasons, the upward lift force of the wind on this solar plant was very high and the foundation had to be designed in such a manner that it could comfortably withstand these forces especially during thunderstorms when the wind speed would reach 150 km per hour or more. The engineering team at Daban prepared a special design for this site. This was very similar to foundation design of any large megawatt capacity solar farm with load analysis and computer simulation. This foundation was designed in such a way that it could comfortably withstand storms of up to 200 km per hour. The base of the foundation was longer than that of the ordinary foundation, due to which the contact surface area of the foundation with the roof increased significantly. The foundation structure was made of TMT bars, which were connected to each other by a ring. To attach the structure to the roof, the pillar's rods were fastened to the rods. In addition, six holes were drilled in the roof at an angle of 45 degrees. Rods were inserted into these holes and tied to the structure by wire. Foundation bolts were attached to the structure. Concrete made up of mixture of cement, aggregate and sand was poured into the mold surrounding the skeleton. The foundation was then left for curing for three days. Finally, the solar structure was installed on the foundation bolts protruding from the foundation. Today it has been a year since the team installed the solar power plant. During this time, there were at least 8 thunderstorms when the wind speed was more than 120 km per hour. As expected, it did not have any effect on the solar plant. This project proves that if the right engineering methods are used, large solar plant can be installed on the roof of the house, hospital, hotel, school or factory without any risk. In the next video, we will come up with more such best practices for construction of rooftop solar power plant. Till then, thanks for watching and stay safe.